Sorry, guys. These shows aren't that good. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Hey, guys. Welcome to another Top 10 list. Welcome to my Top 10 overrated animated shows. Again, in my opinion. This is all an opinion. I know these shows are loved. I know there's a huge fan base for these shows. I know. I get it. There's nothing you can say that I have not heard a bunch of times from a bunch of people about these shows. This is just how I feel. I don't think these shows are particularly good. I don't see anything special about them. But that's just me. That's that's just how I feel about it. And if you don't like it, well, you shouldn't have clicked on this video. <laughs> Believe it or not, actually, there is actually like... 15 I had on here, but some of them are just like, eh, they're not quite overrated, but I'm like, I think these 10 are like the perfect 10 for me. And some of these you've actually seen me talk about in my overrated television shows list. I think three or three or four of them I mentioned on that list. So you'll know what my like top four are. So here we go. These are shows people love. I'm just not a fan of them. Number 10, Voltron. Voltron is a big one. And the thing is, the thing is, I actually loved the first two first two seasons of the show. I thought it was really good. I was engaging. I thought the characters were really good. Uh, I was really invested with what was happening. I think after season two, this show is absolute trash. And people will do not agree. People think this entire show from start to finish is phenomenal. An amazing show. One of the best shows on Netflix. One of the best animated shows of the 2010s decade. Everyone, most people who I talk to about Voltron, they're like, that's a fucking amazing show. And I'm like, it was in the first two seasons. And they're like, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. And I feel the same thing about Rick and Morty. I think the first three seasons of Rick and Morty are the best. And then the show turns terrible. But at least Rick and Morty has three seasons. This one only has two. And... It's not good after that. I'm just saying, like, what they do, the character choices, what they do with Keith is ridiculous. The the, the romances are uh, that they just force is stupid. The characters that they kill off make no sense. Villain choices that make no sense. And just where they go with the story is so asinine. I just, like, I don't even know uh, where the writers, like, where the writers of the first two seasons just fired and they just hired idiot gen z's i don't fucking know i don't know. it was terrible it was really bad so yeah number nine is that scott pilgrim show um what was it Just takes off or something takes off with good writing i don't know i i did a whole video on this and everybody hated my opinion everyone thought i was wrong and i i was stupid and all that shit just go watch that video i made of this uh of this show um, doing a whole show about Ramona Flowers is not a problem. I love Ramona Flowers. She's like one of my favorite characters in Scott Pilgrim. But don't call the, the show Scott Pilgrim when Scott Pilgrim is barely in the damn show. And don't just do the Scott Pilgrim story, but Ramona's fighting the exes. Like, don't do... The, it was literally a bait-and-switch show. And everyone's like telling me, it's not a bait and switch show. It's a bait and switch show. It's called Scott Pilgrim. It's not about Scott Pilgrim. Just like the He-Man show was called He-Man, but the show was about Tila. That, that's a bait and switch. You want to make a Ramona show, call it Ramona Flowers. So get the fuck out of here with that shit. Uh, number eight, Disenchantment. This one hurts because I'm a Mac Running fan. I love The Simpsons. Well, the first like 12 seasons of The Simpsons. And I love Futurama. I, I, I for the most part, think... Uh, Matt Groening makes good stuff. I can't get into Disenchantment. I've tried so hard to get into this show. And some of the characters seem super funny. Like, I've watched the first two seasons of this show. And I really, really try. And I even watched the first season a second time to see, like, maybe I missed something. I just don't think it's funny. It, which is strange. Because Matt Groening has a great sense of humor, and his shows are always very clever and very funny, and the, the, his shows just get my kind of humor. But this show is just so stale, and just not funny, and it's, it's not enjoyable. It's not like a, a bad show. There is some 
creativity in it and I can see people liking it I just I don't know it's it's, it's a personal thing I guess it's just I can't get into this 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 story or in the, 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 these jokes these jokes just don't work for me like every time I sit and watch an episode it's crickets however I've watched it with like a person who was a fan and they laugh their ass off so clearly this show gets people laughing just not me so yeah number seven Harley Quinn. Okay, um, I'm just gonna say right now, Harley Quinn in general is an overrated character. <laughs> she is just such a loved character by everybody, and I liked her in the original animated series. Uh, Paul Dini created her and, and put her in the show. She was fun, but ever since like Suicide Squad 2016, Margot Robbie played her, and like uh, everyone cosplays as her. She's like the sexy Joker and. Oh lord, I just I, I, I find her annoying and she's just not as twisted and as fun as the Joker because the Joker is just a complete and utter psychopath and that's why he's entertaining to watch and he jokes about it, but Harley Quinn's almost the same but like a lot more tamed and maybe has some goodness in her and I don't know, they try to make her sympathetic, but then she does like crazy stuff, then I'm I don't know. And you can tell that this show was written for the new generation. What they do with Catwoman, what they do with Harley Quinn, what they do with Batman. It is clearly made for girl, Gen Z girls. So, which is okay, I guess. Just not for me. <laughs> All right, number six. Uh, this is going to be a big one because everyone fucking loves this show. X-Men 97. I don't know. I just, I'm trying, I've tried like three times, three fucking times to get into this show. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Yeah, I know so many people love this show and I think almost everyone's going to disagree with me. Everyone's saying this is the best Disney show, best show on Disney Plus. This is X-Men Animated Series back. I think the X-Men Animated Series from the 90s is better than this. Um, I think it, stay, it strays away from a lot of things that made that show great. I also think X-Men Evolution is better. That's like an underrated X-Men show. I don't know. Just people love it. I just can't get into it. All right. Comment number five is the kids show Arthur. I bet some of these I mentioned already are overrated. So I'm not going to talk too much about them. I think this is an educational kid show that I just was never a fan of as a kid. I watched other kid shows, educational kid shows that I thought were better. I thought Franklin was better. I thought Magic School Bus was better. Just other kid shows that taught us things that were just more important, Arthur, I just hated the character of Arthur, his stupid bunny rabbit friend, and his dumb sister, D.W. I just never cared about this show, and I know everyone loves it, loves the theme song, hey, what a wonderful time of day, ah, fuck that show. Magic School Bus has a better, more kick-ass opening. Same with Hey Arnold, they're just better kid shows out there, so yeah, fuck Arthur, hate that fucking show. Coming number four is the show What If, another show I've talked about and how much I'm not a fan of and I just don't care about. I think the MCU has kind of gone downhill and What If is just a bunch of shorts and the thing is this could have worked. What Ifs are interesting if the What Ifs are cool What Ifs. Like watch Star Wars Theory, his YouTube channel. He has really cool What If Star Wars theories. These What Ifs suck. What If Zombies, what if fucking... Black Panther was Star-Lord, and what if Doctor Strange was bad? Like, these what-ifs are horrible. They're very Disney-fied what-ifs. Nothing creative or cool, and just, I don't know, hated the show, didn't care for it. Also, yeah, the Peggy being Captain America. <laughs> number three, uh, number number three is Big Mouth. Uh, uh, I could put this at one because I hate this show the most out of every. Every show on this list, Big Mouth is the show I hate the most. I fucking hate this show. But the reason it's number three is that there is people that out there that also hate this show. Moist Critical hates this show. Like, there are people who are on the same bandwagon of me hating this show. But the love is more. The critics love it. So many people quote it. There's memes of it. I don't know how many people I've talked to that think this show is just the funniest thing ever. And it's just not. It's disgusting with stupid characters, dumb messaging, and the voice acting is terrible. And just, it's kind of gross and sickening. And it's sickening that people think this is good and funny. Ugh, what is wrong with the world? 
All right, coming to number two is Adventure Time, another show I talked about. I'm not a fan of this. I don't like the imagine. I don't like this sort of. It, it's very imaginative, but it, like if you want to watch a cool kid show, cool kids fantasy show, watch Gravity Falls. It's much better in every way, shape, or form. There's a fucking flying here, and I'm gonna kill that fucking thing, just like Adventure Time. And number one is Archer. I think Archer is one of the most overrated television shows of all time. It's one of it's the most overrated cartoon. It's one of the most overrated things ever. In a, a cool, it has a cool concept of a, like a spy show, a spy James Bond parody show. It's just not funny. And again, this is all subjective. Comedy is subjective. People love this show. Think it's hilarious. Think it's hysterical. I don't. Simple as that. So yeah, that was my quick little top 10 overrated animated shows in my opinion. So let me know in the comments below. What are your top 10 most overrated animated shows in your opinion? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.